Hey Pitmasters, welcome to another episode. I'm Roel and today I got a special recipe for you with plank tenderloin. It's gonna be so delicious. And as always, the first thing that we're going to do is fire out the barbecue. And with a gas barbecue, it's the same thing. We really want to start it up before we start grilling because we need all the elements inside of the gas barbecue to heat up as well. We're going to boil some sauerkraut. We'll put a pack of sauerkraut in a pan. And to that we're going to add beer. Now this beer is a sweet beer. And we really want sweet, a sweet drink because the sweetness balances out the acidity of the sauerkraut. We'll put the lid on and put this pan on the barbecue. With the Napoleon Roque we got a beautiful side burner. First we gotta let a little bit of gas into the, the pipes of the side burner and when it's filled with gas we can ignite it. Just put the pan on and let the sauerkraut simmer away. For this recipe we will need four onions. So we gotta slice these, but we're going to slice these in the length direction. So we want to take off both ends of the onion and then slice it. Because this recipe will require for some structure of the onion. And for the meat we're going to use these beautiful Iberico tenderloins. Look at the marbling and the amount of fat that's in these tenderloins. Fantastic. However, we're going to trim some of the, the fat off. I got a little bit of silver skin right here that I want to take off. We're just going to lift up the silver skin and move our knife up so we don't cut off too much meat. We'll season these with just a little bit of salt and pepper and now we're gonna grill them and get a nice crust on the outside. I'm taking the sauerkraut off the burner because it's almost done and when we set it aside it will still keep on cooking. Now that we freed up this burner we're gonna use it to create our barbecue sauce. The base of this sauce will be ketchup. So I'm pouring in roughly 200 milliliters of ketchup, 100 grams of sugar, 100 milliliters of maple syrup, four tablespoons of Worcester sauce, some chili flakes, and that's a, about a teaspoon, a pinch of salt, some black pepper, and a tablespoon of honey. And we'll slowly let that come up to a simmer and then it's done. In the meantime, we're going to check on our pork tenderloins. We're just going to flip these over. As you can see, they get a nice bit of caramelization. We're not going too fast. I got the burners set to a low heat because we also want them to cook at the same time. And now we're getting to the good part. I got some pork fat here. And I'm lucky because this is uh, leaf our pork fat. And then we'll put it on our grill plate here. Now just move it around, season the grill grate with it. And when it's hot, we're going to put on our onions. So while the onions are turning soft, we're also going to add miso paste to this. And miso paste is really rich in flavor. So that's going to produce a lot of complexity with our onions. Add a bit of a show element to this dish. I'm going to put some rum on top of the onions and then set it on fire. Look at that. <laughs> it not only looks good, it also tastes good. Our sauerkraut is done, our onions are done, our barbecue sauce is done. Also the pork tenderloins are almost done, but not just quite. So we're going to start building up our recipe. 
I have a cedar plank here and I didn't put it in water because this recipe doesn't really require for it to have a lot more heat. So we're just going to go with the, the, the aroma that's already in the plank. So we'll start with putting some of that sauerkraut that's sweet with the beer and really sour from uh, the sauerkraut of course. Now we'll put onion on top of the sauerkraut. So we're going to take these tenderloins off, put them on the cutting board here and we're going to slice them up and put them on the plank. Now we'll add just a little touch of that superlicious barbecue rub. If you can't get this barbecue rub in the store then I'll put the recipe down below for you which you can replace this with. And then as a finishing touch we're going to put this really sweet barbecue rub on top of that pork loin. Put the plank over direct heat and just let this cook for around 10 minutes for the tenderloins to become fully cooked. You'll see that the color has changed to a little less pink, a little bit more gray. The barbecue sauce will have melted all over the, the meat and the rub has fully dissolved. Look at that. Fantastic. The outside where the rub is and the barbecue sauce is, is just starting to caramelize just that little bit on the outside of the meat. At the same time you can see the setter plank starts a little bit burning and you get a hint of smoke from the setter. Also the flavors from the setter plank are drawn into the sauerkraut. So I'm really excited to taste this uh, recipe. So let's get this off the grill. Onto the board. And this is how you serve it. Just serve it with a plank underneath. As a finishing touch, I wanted to add these roasted mice corns. We're just gonna put them in a mortar and pestle and just crush them a little bit. Just take them down in size. Now we got this little crunch to go on top. And it just adds that extra bit of texture that you otherwise wouldn't get out of the meat. The flavors of this dish are top notch. You know, it's always really exciting when a dish like this comes together the way you had it in your mind. If you enjoyed this recipe video, give me a big thumbs up. And if you loved it, subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Until then, it's makkelijk.